Slime guys, I found back again with another video, and this video is Grade Three Math, identifying and comparing fraction word problems. Now, this video is the second video in the six video uh, series on the topic of identifying and comparing uh, word pro fraction word problems. So let's get started. Now, let's first just do a recap of what is a fraction. Now, when you take an object and you divide that into a number of equal parts, then each part is called a fraction, okay? For example, two by five, okay? Okay, so now let's take a closer look at what a fraction is, okay? So the example that we used was two upon five, all right? Now, the number two in this uh, fraction is called the numerator. And which basically means is how many parts of the fraction that you are you know, you're, 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 you're having. And the five is called the denominator. And that means how many equal parts of the whole object that you make. So five, is, if you have one object, you make five parts of uh, five equal parts. So that would be the, the denominator. And all those five equal parts, when you take two, that's the numerator, okay? And always remember, always, always remember that the denominator can never be zero. Okay, now question number one. Jim is very fond of fruits. So when he goes shopping, he goes to the fruit section and he saw that there was one crate with 24 juicy oranges. He asked his mom to buy seven of them. Now what fraction of the oranges did they buy? Okay, so let's solve this uh, question number one. Out of the 24 total oranges, they bought seven. So we can say they bought seven by 24 of the oranges. Okay, so question number two. Jill's mom had bought a bag of uh, flour which weighs five pounds. Now, out of that, she will use two parts to bake a cake. What fraction of the bag of flour did she use? Okay, so now let's solve this problem. Now in the problem, it tells us that out of the five pound bag, uh, Jill's mom used two pounds to bake a cake. Now, so we can say she used two fifth of the flour. <music> So question number three, five pounds of carrots were bought by Thomas's mom, out of which she used two pounds for making soup, and one pound will be used to feed their rabbit. Now, what fraction of the carrots will be used for making soup? Okay, so let's solve this. We have been told that out of the five pound uh, carrots, two pounds were used to make soup. So we can say, that two-fifths of the carrots were used to make soup. Okay, now, question number four. Jill was very fond of cheese, so she bought a packet of cheese slices. Now, if five of these uh, eight uh, slices of cheese are used for pizza and the rest are used for lasagna, what portion of cheese would be used for pizza and what portion of cheese would be used for lasagna? Now, uh, let's solve this problem. Out of the total of eight slices of cheese, Jill had used five for pizza, okay? So we can say she had, uh, Jill had used five by eight uh, slices of cheese for the pizza. Now, the total number of the slices were eight, so she had already used a five for the pizza. So she's, uh, for, for lasagna, she's only had uh, got uh, eight minus five, which is three. So she's only got three sizes left for lasagna. So we can say that Jill is uh, using three by eight uh, slices of cheese for lasagna. Okay, so question number five. Bob wanted to have a chocolate malt cake, and so he bought one from the bakery. Now, if he ate three of the eight slices uh, of the cake, what part of the cake was still left? Okay, so let's solve this. Now, the total number of slices in the cake 
were eight. So out of the eight slices, Bob had eaten three. So the slices that were left was eight minus three, which is five. So we can say the slices still left are five by eight. So that brings us to the end of the second video in the sixth video uh, series on identifying and comparing fraction word problems. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe.